how we used spatial data in a bidding process to decide to write a billion dollar check. When a business is up for sale, usually the owners of the business put it up for sale, there's a very time intensive, very um, competitive bidding process between usually several different groups. A lot of those are private equity firms. So my firm will participate in these bidding processes. And again, it's important to remember that these are very time intensive uh, processes, right? You're trying to learn as much as you can about the operations of a business in as short a time as possible. It's a little bit like that. Uh, a few months ago, my investment team comes to me and they say, Tim, we're thinking about buying this uh, retail chain, which has a whole bunch of stores in this very particular region. Can we buy this business and build more of the retail stores that it's already built in order to make it more profitable so that we can sell it in three to five years uh, for a profit? Can we continue to build more stores in this particular location, right? And so there's two ways to do that. You can either do it from a white space perspective where you're expanding into new markets where you don't have a current brand presence and that's sort of a one strategy. And then there's an infill strategy where you create more stores in the market that you're currently operating in. This is a very competitive bidding process. We are um, competing against maybe 10 other private equity firms, all of whom have the same information we have and what we were able to do is, and what we're generally able to do using just sort of the locations of different stores, bring in a tremendous amount of information that we now have that our competitors probably don't have. What we did was uh, we sourced 500 or so spatial variables, everything from demographics, socio-demographics, competitive presence, um, what else do we have here? A lot of different kinds of different uh, demographic variables. MasterCard, credit card transactions data about describing the, 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 the merchant activity in a particular area. 500 different variables. And we matched those all to a 10 or 15 minute drive time radius around each one of the stores, right? And aggregated in that way using the isochrone technology. We're using spatial data and very simple techniques, right? Like we're not pushing the boundaries here. We're not writing white papers here. We are very quickly um, using spatial data to gain a competitive information edge in these processes, which allow us to push our assumptions a little bit more, write bigger checks, and ultimately win out in some of these bidding processes.